Welcome to Prepper Nation. I am John. Thank you very much for being here. Subscribe and hit thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Jason H., for the mean bean on this video that I think is going to be dropping this afternoon, not this morning. Let's get straight into it, okay? Because a lot of pain in America, both financially, but also emotionally, people are dealing with a lot. Tough choices are having to be made in 2024. Let's call it for what it is. And I had a question come across. So, John, what what does going GALT mean? Uh, and I said, okay, this is interesting because this is something that, for those that don't know, it's considered a far-right term. And it's meant in a bad way when you see it, but it's it's not really it's not a bad thing, and it's not necessarily even a far right term. Um, it's the opposite of embracing socialism, and so I wanted to talk about it. Of course, with socialism being ushered in and stuff, it's it's a bad thing according to them. But I don't believe it is, and I think maybe a lot of people can identify with going out now again i don't know if somebody's heard this on another channel on youtube or it's just a random question or whatever i'm going to give you my definition my interpretation of what it means okay so means that you are living life the right way you're unapologetic about it and you have zero guilt about the way that you live number one um you know I mean, we know right from wrong. We're all living a little bit differently and doing different things, right? But at the end of the day, when you lay your head down on the, you know, the pillow or two pillows for y'all snores out there, son, when you, when you lay your head down at night, you know if you're living the right way or the wrong way. And so in order to, to be going golf, the first thing is you have to truly believe that you're living the, the right way. But you begin to question, am I being punished for doing it the right way? You know, and this is where some of y'all are going to, to maybe uh, begin to identify with this message uh, this afternoon, because what do I mean by this? So if you're living the right way, many of the folks my age and older, maybe a little bit younger as well, we were raised in such a way that you get up, you get to it in the morning. You know what I mean? You don't lay around until one, two o'clock in the morning unless you work midnight shift, then it's okay. But otherwise, you get up and you do things during the day. You go to work, you're paying taxes, you're trying to make your own way. And for people like us, and again, this is why I think it's identified as a far right message or ideology or whatever, right? You know, it's it's far right in 2024 to make your own way and not mooch off the government, basically. But you begin to you begin to question it. You know, am even though I'm doing things the right way, am I being punished for it? Because it seems like people that aren't doing it this way have an easier path in life here in the United States. People can lay around now until one, two o'clock in the afternoon or beyond stay in their pajamas all day, absolutely not hit a lick, lick the entire day work-wise, eat, eat better than maybe you do at night when you get off from work or whatever. And they, they just have an easier path to the point where you begin to question, what am I doing here? Why am I, why am I doing it the right way? It, the way we're doing things should be rewarded, yet we're being punished for it. You feel no need to justify anything uh, that you own or anything that you do to the rest of society. Um, we live in a day and age, and it's, it's hard to believe, but we live in a, a day and age where if you work hard and you save money and you buy a bass boat, for example, you know, who don't like to fish, son? You buy a nice, you know, just filthy rich looking bass boat. You got a killer deal on it. People look at you in a bad way, maybe. Not necessarily your neighbors, maybe your neighbors, but society in general, they look at you because now you have a bass boat, again, that you worked for and that you saved up for, and they don't have one. 
and they can't stand this concept because again they're they're grounded in socialism whereas we are not and they don't think that it's fair and they think that you should be apologetic about having that bass boat or you know the nice ride or whatever out in the driveway but you're saying by going golf you're saying I'm not justifying anything. I don't owe you an explanation on anything uh, that, that I'm doing because I know that I'm in the right. In a way, going galt means civil disobedience. When you get right down to it, that's, that's kind of the, the definition I have. Civil disobedience and maybe even a form of protest. You're getting to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm just going to work less, contribute less, uh, because what's the point? When you go golf, you know, right now, most of us, are we kind of fall into that little trench where we're unapologetic. We do what we do. We know we're doing the right thing, uh, you know, according to how we were raised. We're not going to come out and apologize for working hard and saving money and buying things that, that we want. because that's you know that's part of what makes life interesting okay and again we earned it there's something there's something that's hard to explain to people okay you you can have someone gift you you can have the government gift you a vehicle a nice let's say a nice uh what are they teslas the the evs here's a thirty thousand dollar tesla for free oh, okay well whatever and if it was gifted to you, you don't really appreciate it in the same way that you would a $1,200 rusted down Ford truck that you scrimped and saved and worked hard for. You're proud of that truck. It may look like crap sitting next to the Tesla, but you have a sense of pride and, and you earned it. Y'all get what I'm saying. And But when you go golf, what that actually means is you've passed that point and you're kind of to the point where you're throwing your hands up in the air like, what's the point? What's the point of working 40 or 50 hours a week? If the government's just going to take a huge portion of it anyway and redistribute it to people that don't work, that, that don't want to hit a lick, you... Going golf means you reach the point where you cease being that uh, busy worker bee for the system. You know, and maybe some people have hit that point again. I don't know where this question came from, uh, but it's an, it's an excellent question. You just reach the point where you're like, you know, it, it doesn't even make sense anymore. Working 60 hours a week, watching people in front of me in their pajamas in the grocery store, buying better food than I can afford. You just reach that point. So that's my understanding of going golf. But if somebody has a different understanding, uh, you know, feel free to drop that in, in the comments. Certainly applies to 2024. I mean, I think a lot of people can relate to what I just said about the grocery store. You know, or maybe there are some people out there working two jobs, paying an extraordinary amount of taxes, barely getting by. Maybe you're sitting there like, how am I going to pay this next electric bill? How am I going to pay this next, uh, you know, how am I going to get the propane filled up? I don't know what I'm going to do about my medical insurance, right? And you you dread going to the doctor because you know the co-pays 200 bucks or whatever it is. But then when you go, you see people that you know for sure are not hitting a lick and they have no copay, And you kind of get to the point where you're like, what's the point? What am I doing? You know, it's self-inflicted at some point. That's going galt, I think. But I believe what we're actually seeing in this country, and I don't, I don't like this. I'm not for this. Please don't get the messenger on this. But I think this is what we're seeing. We are seeing our country, our government, and a large majority of the people that live here. Uh, notice I didn't say citizens because a lot of people that live here are not citizens anymore. Technically speaking, we are abandoning capitalism and we are embracing socialism. And I think many people, especially the ones here at Prepper Nation, um, aren't used to that concept. People like us are not used to the concept of the government 
will take care of me. The government will pay for this. The government will do this. I just need to show up at an appointment at social services every three months or whatever. And, and a lot of us don't like that concept. We don't like the idea of it, but nevertheless, it's coming. Um, and yeah, I'll hear this, this as well. Some people say, well, just stop paying taxes. Don't pay taxes. I, I see this comment a lot. That's a form of going out. When you just totally, you're a recluse at that point. You're removing yourself from the system entirely. You're like, I'm no longer playing the game. And I often ask people that leave that comment, you know, explain to me how I'm not going to prison at some point or going to jail um, by not doing this. You know, in the reply, when they leave a reply, it's always, well, if every American taxpayer did this, well, yeah, that's easier said than done because organization, when it comes to conservative America, has always been an issue. Uh, love conservative America, but organizing people will get up on here on YouTube and they'll be like, we need to be doing something. We need to be organizing. Everybody knows we need to be, but nobody seems to be doing it. And they don't seem to understand that YouTube's not the platform to do it in the first place. You know what I mean? So we're way behind the eight ball on the organization part of it. But to me, being a social recluse that just removes themselves from the system completely, when you get right down to it, uh, that's, go that's going gone for me. And I think there's great benefit to that lifestyle. Um, few of you have been here since the channel first started as a writing podcast. Most of you have not. And I actually took, well, it wasn't an entire year away from the internet. It was about 10 and a half, 11 months. I just woke up one morning and I said, you know, I'm going to spend about a week. I'm going to download everything that I need on flash drives, music. I'm going to buy up games. I'm going to get physical media. That's why I have so many DVDs still to this day. And I'm going to try and take a year off of the internet just to see what it's like. And again, I made it 10 and a half, 11 months. And I'm telling you right now, there's certainly benefits to it. It was really hard for a few days to, but that's what you're doing. The reason I'm bringing it up is you're removing yourself from the system. First two or three days, I was doing this just out of, you know, as a force of habit, I would start to pick the phone up, start to pick the phone up. And I'm like, no, no. But after a few days, I quit doing it and I, I kind of removed myself from the system that we have now. And I was being more productive. I was, I noticed I got a lot more stuff done. And I think, so there, there are benefits to going golf and just completely removing yourself from the monopoly game, so to speak. But most people aren't going to do it because 92% of people own smartphones. Uh, here in the United States of America, and that's a statistical fact. And as long as people own smartphones, I don't think they have the stones to completely remove themselves from the system. That's just my two cents. That's my opinion. Uh, so for most, going galt, when they say it, it's an empty threat. I think deep down, they know that removing themselves or going galt, removing themselves from the system would be beneficial and it would be a better lifestyle than what they're living uh, right now. But I think it's an empty threat because it's too inconvenient. When you get right down to it, it's a matter of convenience here in the United States of America. We are spoiled. We are spoiled beyond belief. I know it's easy to sit here and say, well, I'm not spoiled. I, you know, I do this during the day and I do this and I do this, but look, we're spoiled to running water. We're spoiled to electricity. We're spoiled to the internet. 92% of us, we don't have smartphones simply to make phone calls. If you did, you'd have a dumb phone. And some of you do. I get it. But the people that have smartphones, myself included, we, we use them for other things, you know, besides making phone calls. You know, I'll check YouTube and stuff like this and approve comments while I'm standing in the checkout line. So I'm part of the system, unfortunately. So anyway, that's what going, excellent question again. That's what going golf means. To remove yourself from the game board, put yourself over here, become a recluse and kind of do your own thing and pave your own way. 
and not support an oppressive system anymore. Um, I think if we all did it in mass, it would be fantastic. The government would collapse at that point because they would have no revenue. Things would change. But again, I don't think everybody's going to do it in mass because we have no organization uh, in conservative America. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. God bless.